everybody. Um, this is Debbie, uh, Feeding Your Heart, Spirit, and Tummy. And this is going to be a quick video, I hope, on my chip beef cheese ball um, for my kids. This is another one for them to have for future. And I get a lot of requests on, so I've already kind of pre-started. I went ahead and chopped my green onions and ahead of time. So... That way, when I make another set of cheese balls this weekend, I'll have my green onions already pre-chopped. I'll put those in there. Nice little green onions. Okay. And then, I've already opened up one box of Philadelphia cream cheese. And I'm going to get ready to open the second one, so guess what I'm doing? I'm stuffing my cream cheese bag in my box. For I know, it is what it is. All right, so I'm getting ready to open my second one. Maybe. <laughs> Crush it. Stuff it. Good. All right. And then, once again, I get my good old faithful scissors to open this up a little bit. And I also had these, um, I sent them out a little bit ago to get them softened to room temperature is best to manipulate it. There we go. Yep, 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 okay. That's what I'm gonna do, squash it. This is my bag from my green onions, so it's gonna be my designated trash bag. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm just gonna kinda Squash it down just a little bit like that so I can get some of my seasonings in it. All right, so I'm using a little bit of garlic powder. Um, you can use garlic salt, but just be really careful because it can overpower, be too salty, so it depends. And I'm going to, I know you probably shouldn't try anything different on when you're doing it, but these are um, everything bagel. I'm going to try a little bit because I love them on my crackers and you get crackers. And this will give it a good little taste too, like a little onion taste as well. And a little, make it look pretty. Okay. So, I'm mix all that in there. And one thing about it, you just kind of taste it as you go. Taste your cream cheese a little bit here and there. And you're like, oh, that's too plain. Let's add some more garlic powder in it or garlic salt. It might need a little touch of garlic salt. So, like I always tell people, just do it slow. Take your time. You can't take it out once you put it in, but you can always add. All right. So, let me just do a little back of the taste here. Hold on. Maybe not. Hmm. Can I add a little bit more? Everything bagel. I think I've caught on to something new here, Jimmy. Yes. And I may grab the garlic salt. Jimmy, hold on. Okay, I think I'm going to add in just a little bit of garlic salt because it wasn't salty at all. But I know once I add my chipped beef in there, it probably will help the saltiness too. I'm really liking this. Everything bagel in it too. That's a good little flavor. Hey, if my kids don't like it, guess who gets to keep it? Mm -hmm. We do. <laughs> oh, sorry about y'all's luck. Eek. Okay, there we go. Now, let's just do a little quick taste again on the back of it. Let's get a little baby taste. Hmm. I like it. A bit more garlic sauce. <laughs> <laughs> You're funny. Now, all right, so let's add, eh, what should we do? Let's do, I don't measure these, but I can. I just do a couple, let's just say a tablespoon, two tablespoons of onions. Get those mixed in there. Now my next one I'll be making uh, for my sister Teresa's house and Sammy Jo, uh, they don't, she don't like onions, green onions. So I'll be making one without the green onions and one with the green onions. 
My sister doesn't like pecans, so she won't have pecans on hers. And I use these little jars here once they're empty. Um, I will put like Sammy's in here and put a little sticker for Sammy and it'll be a chip beef cheese ball minus the onions. And then Teresa's will be chip beef cheese ball minus the pecans. <laughs> <laughs> and they get their own little personal cut. All right. I know it's a lot, but you do what you gotta do for your family so they can enjoy your thing too. All right. Oh no. Let's do another little, little bit. To me, the green gives it a little bit of mm -hmm. coloring, doesn't it? Especially yeah, Christmas. Yes, it is. Or any type you want. Anytime holiday, pool parties. I mean, this is a year round recipe. Now, we're going to add in the chip beef. I opened up already the large one, the dry beef. So hold your ears, people. I'm going to hit the. Look at my fingers. To whatever contest, con, consistency, excuse my <laughs> words, there's one. Consistency, you like it a little bit finer or just a little chunkier. You know, this, that looks pretty good. Just do a couple more hits. Now this little baby mixer has been, oh, it's, Linda been with us since like 100 years ago. Our, our whole marriage. <laughs> our marriage pretty much, and it just <laughs> hangs in there for us. Oh, it's tough. It is a tough little thing, I'm telling you. And it's perfect for doing something like a cheese ball. You know, of course I have to take out the for a second here. And sit here. All right, so let's, let's put in a little bit of time here because I usually roll it with that too. And then I'll come back here in a little bit too once I get everything mixed. And then I'm going to get my pecans out and crush those as well. Because my daughters, our two daughters and grandkids, they don't mind the onions or pecans, do they? They want it fully loaded. <laughs> fully loaded, yes. So, uh, and like I said, I, I'm doing this for them because I want them to be able to know how to make these special items at Christmas or New Year's or any time of the year, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, like I said, cheese ball is always good. So, um, all right, let's do a little bit more. Like I said, I've got plenty extra over there that I need because you want it to have that good flavor, chippy flavor. All right. So, Jimmy, I'm gonna we'll take a little break here and I will finish this. And then when you come back here in a second, I'm gonna hopefully have it rolled and then we'll work on the pecans and we'll be done, okay? Okay, so I've got it mixed up and I actually divided it into two balls. I have one here to prepare for the second half of Christmas Eve for one daughter and her kids. This is the first daughter, the second daughter coming in, actually before this first daughter coming in with everything. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit. I'm gonna put some more on top. That helps make your, form your roll a little bit better. And then, hold your ears. <laughs> this is our pecans. So, these are the ones who like pecans. Like I said, the ones who don't like pecans are getting separate jars. There we go. So, I'm just going to sprinkle some pecans and pat it down on top and on the side. It gives you a little bit of consistency. Keeps your ball together, too, a little bit better. Get some on this side here. I'll make it, I'll bring it all up here in a second. Don't forget to lick the spoon, honey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've kind of pre-tasted it. Mm -hmm. And it's good. It, even with the uh, my new everything bagel. Hello. Really worked. So it's really excited about that. 
So you got your pecans around it. You got a little bit more chipped beef around it to make it look pretty. You can smash it and you can do whatever you want for it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to transfer it. Transfer it, transport it. <laughs> <laughs> whatever those words are. Okay. You get a little star tricky on the search. <laughs> transport me, beam me up, Scotty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Just make your hands sure your hands are always clean because you don't want people to now see and you can always add more nuts on it if you want um just a little bit of show there we go not too much but just enough <laughs> yeah. so what i'm going to do is i'll wrap this up and it will be ready uh, for christmas eve or what occasion you guys need it for. But like I said, this is the most requested one for me, for my kids as well. You notice my kids like a lot of stuff. Good thing I'm doing these videos, honey. It's so, right. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my chip beef cheese ball. And I hope you guys enjoyed this little video and have a good day. And of course, as you know, I'm being trained very well. Hit like or subscribe or both. And we appreciate you putting up with us as we do this. And you guys have a blessed day or evening. And make this. You will love it. We have crackers. Any type of crackers is awesome with this. So buy you some crackers. Put the crackers around it. You can put it on a cheese ball tray, whatever. But this is just going to be refrigerated for now. So we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.